After a great string of wins to end their regular season, TSM entered playoffs with a 12-6 score. A defeat on their last match day would deny them a top 2 finish, but as the 4th seed they were seen as favorites in their matchup against the Golden Guardians. TSM ended up losing the series and being knocked down to the losers bracket, but perhaps the most surprising thing was that it was a clean sweep. TSM's bot lane played pretty poorly throughout, but even before assessing play, something that seemed clearly off to me when watching the games from the get-go was how they were drafting for their bot lane. In game 1, TSM opened their draft with a Caitlyn first pick, to which GG responded with Morgana and Set and then an Ash. Ash is a common response to Caitlyn to match her range, but a big factor of what defines who wins this bot lane matchup is the support pick. Now, Morgana is a pick we don't see a lot in competitive currently, and it's even rarer to see her as a blind pick. TSM responded to the Morgana pick with Thresh, which to me was bizarre, as we usually see Morgana picked into Thresh, not the other way around. Now, the Morgana blind pick, and especially very early in the draft, is weird, but it's possible it could be a flex, as Demonte played it earlier in the season, funnily enough against TSM as well but a recent appearance on the Crackdown confirms that the plan for game 1 was to see if TSM had any good answers to Morgana, as they suspected they didn't. Our bot lane basically just told us, they, they wanted to like test Treats, because Treats is like first time playing LCS, right? So they just said like maybe that. like first, first game, we're just going to go try like blind pick Morgana, and maybe they won't have an answer. We even saw like in his solo queue, he was playing like Zyra and these like Morgana <laughs> counters, but like... <laughs> As soon as we locked in Morgana and then he pulled out Thresh, everyone kind of was like, wow, like, okay, I guess this is how this is going to go. If you see a Morgana blind picked in the support role, the response should be, in most cases, a ranged support, one with the ability to match her range, out damage her, and break her shield. Alternatively, there's also stuff like Pantheon and Pike. But playing versus Ash Morgana also means that unless you match that range, you're going to be in a losing matchup, and Caitlyn loses a lot of her power as a pick, as her 650 auto range no longer matters nearly as much. In game 2, TSM dropped the Thresh pick and instead picked Bard, which is a bit better, but not really satisfactory for me personally. In fact, in both Sandbox vs DRX and KT Rolster vs Hanwha Life Esports, we had Morgana picks as a response to Bard, as Black Shield can be used to block Tempered Fate or Cosmic Binding. Now you may be asking, what should TSM be drafting? Realistically, they have a variety of picks. Karma is a good one, but she did get nerfed on 10.16, which is the playoffs patch. To me, the big one that really flew under the radar for this series was Lux. Over in the LPL, we have seen Lux paired with Caitlyn 12 times. She is frequently even blind picked. That's how strong they consider Lux to be currently. Now, Lux synergizes fantastically with Caitlyn. Both champions are fairly high range with their autos and abilities, and one hard CC landing can mean death, with binding and trap into full damage rotation from Lux and Caitlyn. The duo is extremely popular in the LPL and for a good reason. You play to hard push, take plates, and leverage Caitlyn's range to get her ahead going into mid game. For the Morgana matchup, Black Shield does exist, but Lux does have her E to break it and can put points in it to make it stronger. If you don't want to pick Lux, there are several other picks. Zyra, Soraka, Janna, just to name a few other options that can sometimes show in pro play. They are picks that in solo queue statistically do very well against Morgana. Now instead of fighting for bot lane priority, TSM yielded it, and this allowed GG to get early plates and grab first drake in both matches. For game 3, TSM switched to red side. They responded to the Caitlyn pick with Ash, which again, pretty standard, but then they also blind picked Thresh. So Golden Guardians countered with Tom Kench, which again gave them lane priority, the ability to grab for a strike, and opened up a 20 CS lead at 15 minutes for the Golden Guardians bot lane. Currently in this meta, we actually see quite some support last picks on red side. There are many blind pickable mid laners currently, and this can lead to one of two things. Number one, blue side picks mid early, which means you no longer need to save your mid counter pick to last pick, and you could pick it at three or four. And two, uh, red side blind picks mid. Both of these scenarios give more value to counter picking support on five. So counter pick support actually has a lot of value, especially in this kind of matchups. So yeah, TSM play Golden Guardians again in a lower bracket uh, rematch today. Whether it's Treats or Biofrost playing, I hope they have learned from the previous BO5 loss and have more answers to something like a blind Morgana pick, as well as just generally understanding how to play around their Caitlyn lanes better. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time.